Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, we are going to look at a brand new feature in 806.1 called Protected Port. And, and basically what Protected Port does is it stops interfaces within the same VLAN from being able to talk to each other. Um, so yes, this is a feature that we can do in private VLANs today and have been able to for a long time, but Protected Port is a much easier way to accomplish the same thing. So let's have a look at how that works. So in a lot of cases, um, in hospitality in particular, so if you've got multiple hotel rooms uh, or you know, in a dormitory at a university, for example, you don't necessarily want your neighbors to be able to see each other, right? If I'm in my hotel room and I'm connected to the network, I definitely do not want to see my neighbor's machine and I don't want my neighbor to be able to browse shares on my machine or be able to get to me in any way, shape or form. Um, and so that's exactly the point. So in, in today's demo, I have my wiring closet device. Um, it happens to be a 7150, uh, but it could be any of the ICXs uh, running 8061. Uh, and then I have a couple of client machines. All of these are on VLAN 1, and then a default gateway here uh, of 192.168.1.1. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to client 1, and I'm going to uh, show you that I can ping uh, from 61, I can ping 62, I can ping uh, .7, I can ping .1. Then we'll turn on protected port only on these ports that are connected to the clients, right? We don't want to do protected port here because we don't want to lose connectivity to the upstream. Um, but we don't want to have connectivity between these clients. So one caveat here and a difference between this and private VLANs is pr those private VLANs can extend across switches or across stacks. For protected port, protected port is local only to that switch or to that stack. There's no way to extend that uh, protected port across multiple stacks. Uh, but with that caveat in mind, let's have a look here. So this is a wiring closet switch, uh, closet switch 1-1 I've called it. Uh, but let, let me hop over to the client. So um, first thing I'm just going to ping a few things. Uh, ping 192.168.1.1 which is my default gateway. Right, uh, I will ping the closet switch, which is dot seven. Okay, uh, so I'm directly connected to dot seven. Um, now, normally your client's going to be an access point, or it might be a small switch, or it might be a laptop, or something like that. In my case, I'm using another switch, but uh, it doesn't really matter what that client machine is. So we'll ping 62. Uh, so that's the other client machine. So that's client number two. Uh, and client number one is me, so I'm dot 61. So right now we're all in the same VLAN, we're all in the same broadcast domain. I can ping everything, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on protected port. So up on my closet switch here, um, show interface brief. I know that um, uh, one slash one slash five is connected to one of my clients and one slash one slash seven is connected to the other one and then one slash one slash six is actually my uplink port so everything's up functional you can see they're all in VLAN one at this point um, and so what I'm gonna do it couldn't be much easier to turn this on we'll go to interface E115 and it's just protected oops <laughs> It's just protected port, and that's it. It's just do protected port, uh, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. 117 protected dash port. So I have protected port turned on. And so if I look at interface E115, for example, uh, show interface E115. Um, we can see it's up and up, how long it's been up for, etc. Um, but one of the things that's been added right here is it's protected yes. Right, so we know that it is in uh, protected mode. Okay, so now if I hop back to the client, 
right? Um, remember, I did not put my uplink port uh, 116, I did not put under protected mode. So protected mode is only on the client ports, right? So if I go back, I'll ping my upstream gateway again. So that still works. I will ping the wiring closet switch I'm connected to. So that still works. Now let's ping um, myself. Obviously I can ping myself, but I can no longer ping client number two. So that's exactly the point, right? Because I'm in protected mode, I no longer am able to reach that. I won't be able to, you know, um, hosts in hotel rooms or, or um, you know, across a dorm or, or whatever your location is will not be able to see each other, but they'll still be able to communicate uh, normally with non-protected ports. Okay, so that's it. Pretty straightforward feature, but much, much easier than configuring private VLANs. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and take care.